Hey there, do you love shapes, colors, and faces? Then you will love municipal politics. Just before we jump into that, here's why you should kind of care. So this is a terrible Excel spreadsheet that I tried to make, uh, just to illustrate that the age group from basically 39 down to 18, this is for all the councilors and the mayor, the mayoral vote in Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. 2,870 votes, that's this bar here. Whereas just the next group, and this is a 20 year, like each one, like this bar is 20 years, this bar is 20 years. This one I didn't care really to see, but it's, it's 40 years, but kind of point is to see like younger people versus older people. Basically, if you're 40 or less, kinda, kinda see the problem here. Huh? So to get back into the quote unquote fun stuff, wanted to quickly go over each one of these. Feel free to pause this if you're actually from Prince Edward Island or Charlottetown, because these are the public facing contact info for each of these people. And we'll get into briefly what they do here. Again, I probably should have said this earlier, but this is not really for people that have taken like poli sci courses because you probably already know way more than me this is more so to get people that haven't voted you know maybe they think feel a bit dejected from politics um which is understandable in a lot of cases very briefly the municipal government at least in charlottetown they deal with by no means is it limited to this but like there's like parking uh water and sewer most of the roads in the city, bylaws, parks, uh, police, fire, and anyways, it goes on and on. So the point of this video isn't really for people to call and be like, hey, Kev, you know, down in the kid and road here, bud, there's, uh, you know, potholes, man. You coming down? Bring a shovel? Hmm? You know, not really going to get you far. The point is more so like, oh, I don't know say with that little tiny issue in Canada the the housing thing you know that would be these would be the people you would contact and be like hey dude like we're dying out here although maybe don't say that's a bit of an exaggeration dude there's fucking bullets man i need shelter anyways i just wanted to give this as well feel free to pause this i don't really want to fucking read through all this I'm boring enough putting it together i don't need to read it but one of the main things is kind of down here for people to have, I get it. I, I understand this is not much, but for people that feel like they're, you have zero control over the community around you, like, you know, you see roads going to shit and it's just like, I guess maybe it'll get fixed sometime. Maybe it won't. But there are things like, and if people do this in droves, it will make a difference. So you can record. Let's see what I mean here, like report potholes and just plug drains down trees. Basically, problems. Oh, one other thing, actually, for people that don't live in Charlottetown. And these are the, I want to say these are for the Highway Maintenance Division, which is provincial. So highways, salting, sanding, snow removal, that would also, you know, probably washed out roads. You know, just any any issue with like some of the bigger the roads outside of, you know, the individual municipalities. So these are the numbers that you would call. So if you're if anyone does a lot of driving, might be handy to have this number because, if I'm not mistaken, and this is uh, evident of my poor presentation skills, there was on a website that I should have taken a picture of. I'm almost positive it said you can text. Uh, they have a text only line where you can put pictures, text, video of whatever the problem is. This is one other thing I wanted to show people is this is the exit poll. And to be fair, I'm, I'm pretty sure the number of people that did this, I think it was right around 4,000 of, so 4,000 people out of, I want to say it was 14,000 that voted. And again, I don't know the percentage off the top of my head, but I want to say 75 ish percent was people above 40 you can kind of start to see a bit of an issue why younger people's problems and when i say young i mean you know 40 and below i'm not talking teenagers there but why 
our issues aren't being taken care of like at all in a lot of cases <laughs> let's be like hey can we have some housing and then you look at an article it's like justin trudeau is thinking about giving tens of billions of dollars to developers and like yeah that's definitely the way to fix it do the thing that we've been doing already that got us into this problem partially and just a little bonus for the people of stratford um this is the same thing for anyone that lives in stratford and you might not even be aware um i just kind of glance over these and feel free each of these are kind of their you can see your ward one and i obviously did a terrible job of making this text readable yeah. but same thing like if you're having issues maybe it's you know whatever I mean, crime parks roads are not up to par this that or the other i think building permits are you know to this or that uh yeah these are the people that call and yeah i just wanted to kind of reiterate this last point is i just want people again that are <laughs> it's not even like it's like doesn't apply to people above 40 just that if you can convince enough young people even to do it like begrudgingly just like all right i'll fucking vote like fuck, whatever but think of like voting for like a counselor or your provincial mp wh whoever it is just kind of like it's like your receipt i remember my mom used to say when i was a kid she's like you can't complain if you don't vote and i was like mom you've been listening to me complain about this for years that's patently false now my complaints don't matter as much but anyways that's just kind of the general point is like i don't know i just figure it'd be kind of beneficial if people picture this as something like almost going to the dmv where it's like yeah okay you gotta do the thing fucking you know meh, 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 meh. So yeah so hopefully that helped somebody and it wasn't too boring and meandering and feel free to like and subscribe it feels weird to say that as a 30 year old guy but yeah, I'll be making more kind of explanatory videos like this uh, in the future. So thanks.